Let's take a look at question number 143 on the official guide to GMAT 2015 DS section. We need to know a couple of things here. We need to know January's balance. And we need to know the number of deposits made. Therefore, we have two variables here. Meaning we're going to need a matching number of equations, two number, two equations. Conditions 1 and 2 each give us an equation, making it likely that C is going to be our answer. Let's verify that by looking at conditions 1 and 2 together. First, let's see April. There's May, which we, need, we know the closing balance to, and then June. May, we're told the closing balance is 2600. In June, it's something less than 26. 75. In April, it's something less than 2625. Now, in June, the only possible thing is either 2550 because of the withdrawal or 2720 of the deposit, but that can't be because it has to be less than 2675. In April, same thing, it could be 2,480 or 2,650, but that can't be 2,650 because it has to be less than 2,625. So from April to May, he's made the deposits. From May to June, he's made the withdrawals, starting from May, which means the first four months, he made deposits, 120 times 4, and then withdrawals 8 times. This comes out to 80, which becomes the range of the account. So C is our answer because conditions 1 and 2 are sufficient to solve the problem.